Hey guys, it's Nye, and welcome to my world. When I started this channel, I really was not prepared for what it exposed me to. Um, I felt as if I was exposing my flaws completely for anyone to judge, for anyone to say anything, and what it has really opened up is the fact that, you know what, before you are so fearful of what others think, focus on what you think about yourself. Build up yourself so that no matter what anyone thinks, you are confident in you. So what I decided to do was to fall in love with my flaws. I looked at myself in the mirror. I looked at all the things that maybe weren't where I would want them to be. And I asked myself, is it because you're comparing yourself to someone else? Is it because of something someone has told you? Is it something that has been placed in your head, you know, through experience? Or is it really just you? After asking myself all of these questions and really analyzing my answers and my thoughts, I really realized that there's nothing wrong with me. The things that I consider to be imperfect may be imperfect because in my head or my perception, I have the image of perfection in another category, but it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with me. So what I decided to do is to tell myself that may not be how you want it, but you know what? I love you for it. That's what makes you you. No one else has that but you. No one else is shaped like that but you. So I fell in love with my flaws and I continue to fall in love with my flaws. So that when negativity or bad comments are said to me, it rolls off. Because I love myself. It's kind of like you ever been in a relationship where the person, um, you know, may not be the best for you, but you're so in love with them that no matter what anyone says, no matter what you hear, no matter what you feel, you push past it because you love yourself and you love the image that is in your head, regardless of who they may be in reality. I decided to give that love to myself and I want to encourage you to give that same love to yourself. Fall in love with yourself, fall in love with your flaws. Look at yourself, tell yourself you're beautiful. Tell yourself that, you know what, they're not flaws. That's just what makes you, you. That's what differentiates you from the next person. You don't have to fit society's standard of beauty. Society's standard of beauty is so skewed that it changes every year. So you're here beating yourself down to focus on the beauty that's right now, but then next year it's gonna be something different. So instead of choosing to continue to beat yourself down over what external factors may claim is beautiful for the moment, focus on you because you have to live with you for your entire life. You are you. Learn to love it. You don't have to change it. You don't have to do surgery. You don't have to hate yourself. Learn to love yourself. Fall in love with your flaws. Love yourself. That freckle that may be out of place, that's you. Love it. If your teeth aren't as straight as you'd like it to be, that's what makes you, you. Focus on the inside so that you can exude the beauty on the outside. Because most of the time, the things that we're focused on, people don't even care. They don't even notice. People have eating disorders that they feel like they're fat and yet there's another person in the closet looking at them like, I wish I had their body. So fall in love with who you are. Be true to who you are. Love yourself. Love yourself before you love anyone else because I can guarantee you that if you don't love yourself, you're going to put yourself in a position to where anyone can dictate who you are, anyone can dictate your worth, your value, and they can make you feel worse about yourself. So focus on loving yourself. Fall in love with your flaws. I want you guys, the homework this week is to look into the mirror, pick five things, the top five things that you would wish you would change, and tell yourself the good things about them. Don't tell yourself the things that make you want to change them, but tell yourself what makes them a part of you. Maybe it's a scar that brings back a memory. You know, it means you're a survivor. Maybe you're a mom and you have stretch marks or your boobs aren't as perky, but you know what you gave life. Maybe it's the gray hair that's poking out behind your ear. You have wisdom, you have experience, you have life. Look at things that way. Change your perspective so that we can learn to fall in love with our flaws and love ourselves. Loving yourself is the first key to anything and everything. So as always guys, I wish you nothing but peace and blessings and until next time.